Hi everyone, this is Oliver and today I'm with Victor, a real estate invest investor from Florida. And we are going to talk about like why he bought the infinity possibility possibility painting and what it means for for him. So Victor, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Thanks thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I'm a real estate investor. I live in Gainesville, Florida. We buy houses, you know, fix them up and sell them or we also buy rentals. Uh, so I keep pretty busy and I just got a new house myself, which is where I'm at now, like where I'm living personally. It's my own personal home. It's my first house uh, that I'm owning and I'm living in. Um, that's my own personal residence. So I wanted to commemorate that with with a painting. So here we are. Exactly. Yeah, that's how it happened. And uh, can you tell everyone, because I think it's an interesting story. Um, I remember you, we, we met two years ago, right? And you already said that you are interested in it and you kind of knew that you want one but you also knew when you know when you have your house so can you tell a bit more about that when we first met um why did you um feel like you want to have a painting and um yeah how, how did you feel about my art back then when we met yeah for sure so we met two years ago through like a, a mutual mastermind we we're both a part of and i really liked your paintings and i really like you know the art you're putting together and I knew, like I even told you back then, like, hey, let's keep in touch because I'm I'm interested in your painting and your artwork. And I knew, like, as soon as I get out of a house, because you talk about like the benefit of using art to commemorate something big in your life, like a milestone, whether it's like a wedding or uh, a new house or like graduation, like anything. And that really stuck with me. And then I knew, like, as soon as I get my first house, it was uh, on the pipeline. It was going to happen. Like, I knew I was going to get a painting uh, from you, uh, just something to like say, like, hey, this is this is this is what happened and this is the story behind it and i liked your story behind it as well because right when we met like you were making the transition and you're working full-time and you're going to full-time art um and i felt the same transition when i was working full-time and i went to full-time real estate investing um so that was that was really nice so uh, that's that's pretty much it so we kept in touch for you know two years and uh you know now here we are yeah exactly and uh, yeah the cool thing was also i think Exactly in 2020, when we met, I painted this painting and two years later, it was still there and it kind of fitted to both our stories. And yeah, yeah. so yeah, cool. And uh, can you tell us like, what did you, did you feel something specific about my, about my art style or anything like what? So I, you said the commemorating things stuck with you, but it was it also something in the style or something that um, resonated with you? Yeah, so I, I just like the style, I like how you put them together. I like, I do like abstract stuff, uh, you know, when it's well done and well put together and that sort of thing. Uh, sometimes people do abstract, like they draw like one line on a blank canvas and that's kind of silly to me, but yours had like lots more going on. Like it was more vivid, it was more vibrant. Uh, I also like the color scheme, kind of like bluish, greenish, goldish. That's what we ended up getting. Um, that's what I ended up getting here. And yeah, no, I just really liked it. So it's it's hard to describe. Like you just look at it and it looks really cool. Like it looks really nice. Like I don't know how else to put it. Uh, I don't know how you do it. You know, I don't know, I don't know uh, the exact details or where the inspiration comes from. But it was just really interesting. Like I like the style, like how it was all put together and it just looked really cool. So I was like, yeah, cool. I'll have one of these. Um, curious i actually don't know that but were you before we met ever interested in art not really actually no not really um uh, no like just getting to know you and uh talking to you and understanding like the process and why people get art was really interesting to me um that's why i knew i wanted to get it but previously like i would have never thought i would have bought a piece or would have done anything you know like this mm -hmm. okay the the connection broke up a little bit oh. in the beginning of me um let's just make sure maybe it's me so i go in a, in the closer to the internet quickly mm -hmm. just to me so, so let's go here um can you hear me i can yeah perfect so uh yeah can you repeat it again like I didn't hear what you said in the beginning. Um, if you were interested before you met me in, in art already. Yeah, so previously I wasn't really interested in it, but to, like getting to know you, getting to know your story, getting to know your art and your art style, 
uh, that's when I knew I wanted to get a, a painting. You know, that's when I was really interested in like, okay, let's do this. Uh, but previously, I never thought of it. Like, I, I would have been happy with, you know, like a IKEA painting. That would have been fine. But um, just understanding what it can mean in terms of art and what it can do for you, then I was like, okay, cool. Let me let me end up let me get this. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Um, that's like actually when you want to have a you know, fill your walls, you get an IKEA painting, right? But mm -hmm. an original art was much more expensive. So what was it for you that justified actually this this extra expense to get an original painting instead of a IKEA painting? Um, so I have a I have another painting, I have another like piece, a uh, sculpture, and uh, a friend, he's visited here and he's been to my place a couple times. And he's seen it like six other places. Like he always uh, like takes a picture like, hey, this doctor's office also has that piece of art that you have. Um, so that's kind of the the uniqueness um, of, as to having your own custom piece. Like it's custom, so nobody else has it. Uh, so you're not going to get, you know, nobody's going to say like, oh, I have that same one at home or, oh, I've seen that before. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, the second thing is like there's more story behind it. Like typically with an IKEA painting, like there's not much of a story behind it. You're like, oh, I went to IKEA and I bought it. That's that's the whole story. Um, with your your painting, like it's like, oh, you were making a transition from uh, full time, you know, working to full time artist, and you didn't know how it was going to go. And it was again like unlimited possibilities, endless possibilities. Like what could happen? You could be ultra successful. You could be mediocre successful. It could be a big flop. Uh, so you had that that route ahead of you that could have fanned out into a million different paths. Um, and that's the same journey that I went through. So like it it has more connection too, um, just because like it's it's something that you've you've lived through or like it has more has more depth to it. Uh, like with mm -hmm. a IKEA painting, like you don't have the same depth. Like I can't, you know, I don't relate to it as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so interesting that you say that because I also bought art myself. I also wanted to experience how it is. And I started with a painting from Italy. Mm -hmm. And so it's actually kind of meaningful, you know, being in Italy, in Florence, it was beautiful there. But the painting in the end was like only a 50 bucks. So that means as well, like, I don't know the story about the painting. We didn't talk much. It was like very transactional and it mm -hmm. happened quite fast. And in the end, I just realized like in, a, in the beginning, I was kind of excited about the painting. But then it it didn't feel that meaningful. I didn't have like a strong connection. It was more like, you know, it, you know, buying a painting from Ikea a little bit. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's really cool. I want to add to it. And I think I mentioned this to you. Like when I see the Ikea painting, like I'm pretty flat in terms of my interest over time, if that makes sense when I bought it and when it's now. But with your painting, it's really cool because like every time I see it, I like it more. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, that's cool. That's cool. Like I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I really liked it when I got it. But just over time, it's going up where it's like, okay, cool. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if that's with you know, all your other people you've talked to, but I just like it more and more. I don't know how else to describe it. You know, it's, it's cool looking at it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you bought it from actually, you just saw it on a picture. I think I didn't even have it here, so I couldn't show it to you on the video. So, so you saw the picture first, which is like, it's, it's, it's a picture, but the, the painting in itself is uh, alive, right? You see yeah. the color shining. And so, yeah. There's a lot more to it. You can see like the brush strokes too, or like, I don't know if you use a brush, but you see the more, you see the pattern, like how you made it, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, the paint, I mean, the picture was pretty indicative. Like it looks pretty similar to the picture. Like this one just has a little more depth, uh, has a little more character, I guess. But yeah, um, I was fine just buying it off the picture. You know, if you, even if you show it to me, like it's it's pretty similar experience, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I realized that too, it's actually, a picture is is enough to see, you know, do you like it or not? But yeah. then usually also my customers are positively surprised when they see it live because it's just, it's it, it lives. You see the color shinings, the depth, the, yeah, depending on the light, it also changes, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does look better in person. And you're right, like the lighting, that's a good point. Like it looks different in the morning or the evening or nighttime, um, and like different colors come out. So that's kind of cool too. So it's just more living and breathing versus like, again, not to disparage Ikea, but, uh, it's more, they have like flat paintings. It's just there, it exists, whatever. This is more, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And the painting, you have something unique and something that's meaningful to you, right? And where you can also tell a story. Because I think that's also what we want in general when we buy something. It's much nicer to own things where you can actually tell a story, where you yeah. have a, 
a connection to it where, which is meaningful yeah for sure no I, I like it i like it cool so maybe yeah, can when we're already talking about the painting maybe can you uh, show us the painting quickly yeah so let me uh okay it's so i'm in my office right now mm -hmm. uh, it's in my living room so that was the other thing like we you helped me put help me decide like where to put it and we made it made the most sense like where we could show it off because in my office not a lot of people go in there but in the living room a lot of people go in there mm -hmm. uh, so this is the living room i have the couch right there and then there's the painting you guys can see that mm -hmm. so you got the like gold in there a little bit of gold you got the light blue you know different shades of light blue and yeah it's really cool yeah with this one i actually use my favorite green the emerald green which is very shiny oh okay nice yeah it looks good um it just it got those different blues and greens in there and it just it just pops you know mm -hmm. i've gotten good comments having people over and i've had good comments on it like people mm -hmm. like it so i like it too that's what matters i like it that's you know even if everyone hated it and i liked it then i'm, I'm fine with that yeah people and, like it it looks good okay cool cool and um yeah so after you bought it so um do you have people come over and actually see it in live? Mm -hmm. I have, yeah. I've had a handful of people, yeah. Cool. And so, what was their like their first reaction? Were they asking you questions, or how did they go? Yeah. So I used to I used to have a different painting there. So a lot of people noticed that it was different and it was switched. Mm -hmm. um, and just the the comments have been always positive. Like people like it, and it like has more character, more flavor, if you can say that. Like it, it just has more going on. It just looks nicer. I think it ties the room together a little bit nicer as well. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's been positive comments uh, so far. And I can explain the story and explain what it is. Mm -hmm. and, so. Cool. That's really great. And um, yeah, I think that that's it for now. OK. Um, yeah, it was really great talking to you, Victor. I'm happy you liked the painting. And it, it was a pleasure also to work with you because you were uh, very decisive you knew what you wanted it didn't take long and this painting fitted immediately which was uh, really great and i'm also happy that you that you like it so yeah, yeah much for your trust as well no absolutely yeah i uh uh you had like 20 paintings to choose from and i just like i don't know how people usually do it but that's how i did like process of elimination like no 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 okay i've got 10 left and then started to continue to pare it down until i had the one i liked um, and this one just like really stood out to me. I don't know what it was about it, but it just stood out to me and it really worked out. And then, yeah, the, the process for shipping uh, only took like a week or two because I'm here in like you're in Switzerland. And I'm in U.S. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, and I had the tracking number, luckily, so I was never worried. Um, I can see, you know, you know, it was just like there was trust throughout the entire uh, transaction throughout the entire process. So I knew like if I'd give you money, you'd give me uh, the painting. So it can be kind of tricky, like you're 5,000 miles away, you know, yep. but it, it came and it worked nice and the painting didn't get damaged in shipping, thankfully. Um, no issues there, but um, yeah, no, it was a good, good experience overall. So I recommend, that's why I wanted to, you know, connect with you here and just because like I had a good experience, so I, you know, I hope this helps convince other people, you know, to, to get off the fence and to, to work with you. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, thank you so much for mentioning that. And, and then I also to wrap it up. Do you have may maybe any advice for people that also are interested, maybe never bought an artwork, an original artwork before? Would mm -hmm. you have advice for them how to, you know, how to maybe buy one or go about to purchase a painting? Yeah, so I recommend like there has to, it's best if there's some sort of event or something like again wedding or graduation or even like birthday, like that could be a good one, um, or buying a new house, some sort of like life event or first child, something like that. Uh, so I think that's a good good thing just to, you know, at least for me, like just buying art for the sake of art. I'm not that much into it, but I like the commemoration aspect of it. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, like what was good about us is like I knew I knew you and I knew your story. So if you can get to know someone or get to know the artist, that's great. And then ask the story behind the painting as well, um, just so you know it and uh, just so you can you know relate it to other people as well and see if it relates to you. Um, and then the third thing is I would just, you know, just go ahead and do it. I think it's worth it. Um, I'm happy I got my painting. And um, again, like I like it more and more over time. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. pretty straightforward process, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Victor. 
Thank you everyone for listening. That's it. And uh, yeah, talk soon. Bye guys.